friends and welcome back to Camping with Emmy. I'm Denise. I have a bandage on my nose because I just returned from the dermatologist's office. So this is a reminder to wear your sunscreen even in the winter. Now in this episode I'm going to be making some holiday aprons. Um, eight years ago I made 10 aprons for all of the ladies in our family so that we could wear them when we did our annual cookie day. And since that time, we've had more people join our family and we've also had children that have been born. So I need to make some more. So in this episode, I'm going to be making two adult aprons and I am going to be making three children's aprons. And I'm gonna provide you with the pattern. I'm gonna show you how this is done. Now these are very simple to make. If you can sew a straight seam, you can make these aprons. So let's begin. The first thing I always do is wash and dry all of my fabric before I start sewing. Now regarding the uh, patterns, I made these patterns eight years ago and I always draw them out in pencil because as I'm making them I always find that I need to tweak it and that way I'm able to just easily erase what I wrote down and then add you know, my new numbers and measurements. Now the adult apron will fit your standard size adult. And if you would like to make a plus size apron, you would just add to these measurements here accordingly. And regarding the child size apron, this would fit a child anywhere between the ages of about four and eight or nine years old. And after your child gets to be 10, you know, depending on the size of the child, they could probably wear an adult apron. Here is how I lay out the material and the pattern for the children's apron. You're going to fold your material in half with your salvaged edges together because you are going to need two pieces for the main body of the apron, two, you're going to cut out two pockets, two waistband ties, and you're going to do one necktie. Now for the child skirt ruffle, you can do this one of two ways. I have taken and folded this in half and I have it sitting right on the folded edge of this fabric. So if you cut this out, you'll have one long piece. Or if you feel more comfortable, you can cut this here. You can lay the whole material out and then you can just cut it out like this. You'll this is how you lay your pattern pieces out on your fabric. You'll put your first piece of apron here because you're going to need two and then you'll bring it down here to do the second piece. You'll need one pocket ruffle and one necktie but you'll need two waist ties so you have plenty of room to come down here and add your second waist tie. You also will need two pockets and you will have plenty of material to cut your two pockets out here.
There's two different ways that you can sew on this bottom ruffle, and this is one way. You just, after you get your ruffle together, sewn together, you're going to put it along the bottom of your apron like this. And then you already have your waist ties and your um, necktie. In this case, I'm using ribbon because this is for a little girl. And then you put your top piece on, and then you pin all the way around it and you sew. But what you do is you leave a section below the waist tie open, about like this, so that you can flip it inside out. And then you just sew this, sew this seam up. And the second way of doing it is to already have your ties all in place and everything sewn down to where the ruffle goes. Then you just lay your ruffle inside like this and then you flip this over and then you're going to turn this over on the front side and the back side. You're going to pin it and then you're going to run a seam all the way around here like this. Now personally I have done this both ways but I personally like this way better. I just for me it's just easier to do but either way works equally well. For my family members. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you all soon. I love you all and until that time, bye bye.